All right. The Boeing plan to bring back $3 trillion from overseas is picking up support in Washington. My friend, Representative Thaddeus McCotter, had this to say, quote, Mr. Boeing is correct that a repatriation of U.S. companies' profits must lead to domestic job creation and growth for Americans. As he notes, such an outcome would be a win-win for everyone in the battle to restore families' prosperity. Joining me now, Congressman Thaddeus McCotter. The list is growing, sir. Thank you very much for that very kind letter you wrote. Um, but you know what I'm, what's missing on that list of people who are signing on? We have Gomer, we have Ross, we have Isa, we have uh, Huckabee, we have McCotter, uh, a couple others there. But you know what I'm missing? I'm missing any, any Democrats on that list. You think we're ever going to get any Democrats to join in on, on, on signing on the list? Well, I would hope so, but that would entail them not buying into what Juan Williams is trying to put forward. Clearly, the bowling proposal is vastly different than what was tried before because you tie it to concrete investment within the economy. It's a trust but verify aspect that was lacking the last time it was done. So I would hope that if they come to this objectively, they would see that it is better than leaving it offshore where no one can do anything with it and try to get it back here for the concrete investment within the United States. And Congressman, you and I had a little uh, email uh, exchange back and forth. You said, well, bringing it back and then telling court, court what to do with it, does it seem like uh, government's getting involved in, in places they shouldn't? And I, I emailed back to you. I said, well, that's money that we weren't going to get our hands on anyway. That's foreign money that will probably be invested in Europe, in Brazil, in China. So, yeah, keep your hands off the profits in America, and we're not going to tell you what to do. But if you want a tax holiday, this is what you should do with it. Yeah, so I raised the question with you, and you answered it properly, because you could anticipate what was going to be said from not just the Juan Williams side of the aisle, but from some of the right of the side of the aisle. They'd be very concerned about the free market. But as you point out, this is incentivizing the corporations to repatriate, invest in the United States. If they do not wish to do it, the money would still stay overseas, where unfortunately it cannot help put people back to work. Congressman, earlier in the show, I, I compared Reaganomics to Obamanomics. What's your take on it, sir? You, were, you, you remember Ronald Reagan? He had, he had some pretty good, um, you know, some pre pretty good economic policies that kind of worked, right? Well, I think that what they try to do now is they try to divorce Obama from the reality that his policies have found a mess and made it far worse, and that we're heading in the wrong direction with the policies he's pursuing. I would also take exception with what Mr. Williams said. President Obama was right there supporting the Wall Street bailout that did not work and has led to problems getting credit down to Main Street and building the spark plug of innovation at the small business level in the country that we need to get it going. But when you look at this administration, they believe that our prosperity is from the public sector, and they're absolutely wrong. Our prosperity is from the private sector. And we need to structurally fix not only the Wall Street banks that are in trouble. We need to fundamentally fix how government addresses and governs in the 21st century, because as President Obama is proving, the era of big government is not only over, it is imploding. And we have got to get it fixed. Right. And, and one of the you know, byproducts of the plan, the, the, the plan of repatriating all that money, not even the job creation from the 25 percent, but the 75 percent that would come back would be sitting in U.S. banks. Boy, that would help them out quite a bit, too. Yes, it helps to put capital back into the economy and tries to get things re the, to help with the liquidity of the, of the bank. But when we also talk about it, one of the things that goes on report, it's not just the 14 million people that are unemployed. You could have as many as 30 million people over the last course of the last couple of years that have not been able to switch jobs to move up to a better job because those jobs aren't there or they're afraid that they won't be if they try to make that move. At the same time, Eric, their wages are stagnating. You have 1.6% decline from May of 10 to May of 11 in people's real wages right. that they earn. Right. And this is because government is crushing the opportunity for the innovative, right. creative, and industriousness to grow this economy. All right, uh, Congressman, we really appreciate your time, and thanks for weighing in with this. Uh, thank you very much, Congressman Thaddeus McCotter.